What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Weakness Policy Solgaleo and Choice Scarf Palmite in Rank Regulation G. Now, when it comes to both these Pokemon, they are definitely two off-meta picks. Solgaleo is an off-meta pick when it comes to restricted Pokemon, and Palmite is just an off-meta pick in general. But let's talk about our restricted Pokemon first, Solgaleo. It's got full metal body, rocking the Weakness Policy as item, and then it's got Protect, Sun Steel Strike, Psychic Fangs, which I absolutely love because not only is it a stab move, it also breaks screens, and screens are kind of tough to play around, right? Our final move is going to be Close Combat, a great coverage move. Now let's talk about Palmot a little bit. Palmot's over here, super fast, can actually do some nice damage with its stab moves, Close Combat, Double Shock, and Thunder Punch. Got Ice Punch for coverage with the Electric Terror type to boost damage even more, and it's got Iron Fist as its ability to boost punching moves. So this is why we have a bunch of punching moves on today's team. Our final four Pokemon are going to be all meta picks. It's going to be Rillaboom, Gouging Fire, Fluttermane, and Pelipper. Pelipper great for wide guard purposes, Tailwind, and setting the weather. Rillaboom's good for big time damage because it is holding the choice band as item. It also has terrain control, obviously. Fluttermane is Fluttermane, and Gouging Fire is really solid paired up next to Soul Galeo because it is actually the Pokemon on our team to pop the weakness policy with Bulldoze, slowing down everybody on the field except for Soul Galeo. And at the same time, popping that weakness policy, allowing this Pokemon to do big time damage. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Solgaleo and Palmot. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against an Eternatus and his Suing and Gujar team with Grimmsnarl for screens. And whenever I see screens and I have Psychic Fangs, I'm always leading my Psychic Fangs. So I'm going to end up leading Gouging Fire and Solgaleo here just to get after it with all that clear body weakness policy stuff then we can bring palma in the back end because it's a choice scarf and then something to deal with Kudra might be mm, you have heavy slam so that could be tough for you but you could be pretty good here pelper i mean you have wide guard i mean i think i'd rather have fluttermane more so than anything because fluttermane is not only going to be super effective onto the groom snarl it's going to be super effective onto the ting blue i like it a lot here so i'm going to end up going into him as our final pokemon and we're looking to win our first match for today's video now i have a question for you guys though as you guys know, Regulation H comes out September 1st. I was wondering if you guys want me to actually hop onto the casual ladder a little earlier, maybe in like a week or two, or maybe even tomorrow, next video, and uh, start showcasing Regulation H teams a little earlier on the casual ladder. If you guys want me to stay on Regulation G ladder, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want me to hop over to Regulation H, because I got a few teams already ready for you guys, let me know in the comment section down below. It's all about you guys. Whatever you guys comment, I'll probably do. But we're gonna end up seeing these two Pokemon come out here. And this screams screens to me, right? This screams screens, right? Grimstone on the field. I think I can just go weakness policy, pop it for Sogaleo, and Psychic Fangs break the screens. Something I love, and this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Actually, Psychic, you're dark. Oh man. Actually, we're gonna have to get rid of uh, I'm gonna get rid of somebody first, and we're gonna go after you. So I'm gonna pop weakness policy. I'm gonna get right after this. And I forgot your dark type too, because you are poison. I was gonna say psychic super affected the poison, but you got dark rocking out. You're gonna end up faking me out. Okay, I mean that's fine. What are you doing with that thing? Overquill. So I'm gonna be able to sun seal strike with no screens on the field. Do some big time damage, which we love. And actually just KO it. That's huge, that's big time. So we get rid of Grimstarl, no screens allowed. Awesome, dope, cool. And he's gonna go for Toxic, so he's gonna put a poison on me. No big deal. No big deal, I mean. As long as I get off weakness policy, maybe a howl or two. I feel like Gouging Fire is thriving here, so Sokolea is going to be able to be awesome here so far. Taking out Grimstarl. He's going to send out his next Pokemon. What do you got? Hisui and Gudra. A little scary, not going to sit here and lie. But I feel like a weakness policy close combat can really just do this thing dirty, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And he's not Terrasalizing, which is beautiful. We end up bulldozing. Critical hit on, I think my Solgaleo took a critical hit, which kind of sucks, but it's kind of funny at the same time. But we popped that weakness policy. I know close combat isn't stab, but being plus two and a base 120 and super effective, damage should be pretty good. Damage should be pretty good. Does it KO? That's the real question. It does KO, yo. Solgaleo, come on, man. What are you going to do, toxic me? I kind of hope you toxic me. Because if you toxic me, you're not really doing a lot of damage. We're starting off hot right here. He goes for toxic spikes. I don't care about your poisons. You might not even get me off the field. That's your problem. So we want to set up poisons to kind of like slow play it. 
What he didn't realize is I'm an absolute menace. With Solgaleo, weakness policy. <laughs> now from here, we can Hal boost, go even plus three. It seems like I'm not worried about this, uh, this overquill. It seems like Robum's really the main problem. And I feel like we should just go for like a heat crash and a, uh, and a sun seal strike here. Double down and roll boom. Yep, I'm going right after him. Going right after Roboom. And they just cancel match. So a two turn match. Yeah, I love it. We got ourselves a prime box art legendary matchup here in match number two. Solgaleo versus Lunala. We started off hot 1 0, but now we're looking to go 2 0. They also got Chiyu. They got Urshifu, Rillaboom, Iron Jugulus. And last but not least, they are rocking out with Umbreon, who's a super dope Pokemon. So they have no weather. They have a little bit of terrain, which would just be grass, but. Other than that, it's kind of looking just like a Lunala battle. And I think we can just still go Weakness Policy Solgaleo alongside with Gouging Fire. And I actually like that. I actually like that. So I'm going to end up leading that again. Bring my boy Palma in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Pelipper? Or do we go Fluttermane? I mean, Pelipper's actually pretty good here. Hurricane going to be super effective, not only onto the Robin, but onto the Urshifu. We have Weather Ball to deal with Chiyu, and then we also have Wyguard, and we have Tailwind if we need some speed control. You know what, Pelper? I'm giving you a shot here. I'm giving you a shot. You better not mess this up, Pelper. I'm giving you a hot chance here to get after it. Fluttermane would have been a great option. I understand Lunala. We could have hit that thing hard. We could have hit Urshifu pretty hard, but Pelper's my dog. Pelper's my dog. I got to bring Pelper. I got to give it at least a shot. Everybody knows I love me some Paloops. All right. Who they got for the lead? Umbreon Iron Jugs. Not complaining. Not complaining at all. Not complaining at all. Who do we attack, though? Because you seem like you want to... I don't even know what you want to do. Set up a Tailwind? Is that your plan? Set up a Tailwind? Iron Jugs is flying and dark, right? Yeah, flying dark. That's looking a little scary for you. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Um... I think I just go into the Hal boost instead. And I just punch up on this Umbreon and take it out, right? I'm going to lower my defense, but still punching up on Umbreon and maybe just taking it out. Really good move for us. I'm going to go for the Hal boost instead. He ends up going for Tailwind. Tailwind comes out here. And I'm still outspeeding Umbreon, which is good news. So I'm going to be able to Hal up. It seems like this Iron Jug is really just here for support. He's going to set up a Reflect. All right, so we're going to have to get rid of that. With a little bit of Psychic Fangs. But I can't get rid of it with Psychic Fangs as of right now because you got two Dark type Pokemon on the field. Which is rather annoying, but we'll deal with it. Their defense is down a little bit. Of course, you got the berry, which we hate. We hate the berry. And I think maybe just like protecting Sogaleo right here. He's good for us. So I'm going to protect Sogaleo. I'm going to start working on this uh, Umbreon right now with Heat Crash because I have to get rid of it to get rid of Reflect and Screens. Oh man, I hate screens. What's up with all the dark types that reverse today? Same thing happened in the last match. They led screens, but with two dark types. Now they do the same thing. What, what is up? Like, how often does this happen? Never, right? Two dark types and screens? <laughs> and it's like four off meta picks, right? Like, besides Grimmsnarl. The other three were off meta picks. He ends up going for a snarl. I mean, that's no big deal. I'm kind of hoping you're doubling down into Sogaleo here. Foul play, maybe? I think foul play is the call. I do think foul play is the call. He crash gonna fly here and do great damage, which we love. He's gonna go for foul play. All right, so right now we outspeed this uh, this Umbreon, which is good good to know because he crash will KO Umbreon. And then from here, I can just rip a Sun Seal Strike into this slot. We're plus one, and if he wants to go for a uh, Snarl, it's still gonna do nice damage. Let's be honest, but it's gonna pop my weakness policy. He ends up going for an Air Slash. Uh, no snarl. He crash gonna fly KO you. Sun Seal Strike. Gonna do some nice damage over onto this uh, Iron Jugulus. And if I get off a of Psychic Fangs, oh baby, oh baby. I'd be so happy. I know my defense has dropped a little bit, but I'm plus one on attack. Which is good news. I'm not really too worried about this Iron Jugs. We do great damage onto that. That's a beautiful damage. Alright, so Umbreon off the field. I got my Pelper, I got my Palmot in the back, and two fi or one physical attacker. So, I, again, I have to break the screens. Let's see who he goes into. So, I might even Thrasilize just to make sure I break the screens. Gonna be Chiyu. Yeah, we're gonna Thrasilize. Straight up Water Terror. We gotta. We gotta do it. 
Straight up water tower. We're going to do that. And do I just close combat you down? No, we have the psychic things. Actually, it's another dark type. Why do? Why am I facing a thousand dark types today? Why? It makes no sense. Makes no sense. It's facing a thousand dark types today. A thousand dark types today. Do you, is this a mono dark team? No, but you probably have dark Urshifu after this. What is going on? No, it's probably Lunala, but still very weird. We're going to try to waste out these, uh, these Tailwind turns. And I'm going to go straight after you. What is going on here? What is going on? All right. We're going to protect me. He's going to go for another Snarl. The Iron Jug. It's probably a Snarl Heat Wave kind of play. I'm hoping my Gadget Fire can soak that. I think it can, right? Yeah, it's definitely. It's it's four times resistance to Heat Wave. Should be able to soak this no problem. Thank you very much. Did 24 damage. We can even soak up another one if, if they got it in stock. But Heat Crash going to fly plus one. Picks up the KO. We love it. We love the KO. Now, is Tailwind gone? Because if Tailwind's gone, now we can just... Yes, it's gone. Now we can just bulldoze, pop weakness policy, and psychic fangs all at the same time. Yeah, and it is Lunala. Lunala is not dark. It is ghost and fairy, right? I mean, there's one turn left in Reflect. Unless you're Light Clay. I doubt you're Light Clay. Let's be honest here. You know what? Screw it. We're going to pop weakness policy and just punch this fish. We're not going to use Terra either. We're not even going to use Terra. You have screens, you can keep screens. That's fine. Good thing we went after the fish. Great news we went after the fish. Unless you're a choice Scarfish. He's a choice Scarfish. He's a choice Scarfish. He's a choice Scarf. Alright, fish is choice Scarf. We know this now. Um, okay. And we'll see if how long Reflex lasts there. So the fish is choice. Um... They're slowing it down a little bit and doing some nice damage. But I could bring out, more importantly, Pelipper. Just set the rain and kind of annoy that thing. But Reflect's gone. And I'll bring out Pelipper. And I think from here we might... Eh, we don't really want a wide guard to slow down. I mean, sl slowing down the Lunala could be good. But I think more importantly, just like attacking you. Or do I get rid of Chiyu here? I think getting rid of Chiyu and maybe just slowing him down a little bit. Could be good for us. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna bulldoze through. We're gonna slow down the Chiyu a little bit. Slow down the Lunala a little bit more. And we're just gonna get rid of the Chiyu, just so we don't have to deal with it. Now I got Palmot in the back end, which is pretty good for us. Palmot, not bad. You're still outspeeding my Pelipper, which is honestly annoying me. And my Gadget Fire dodges that move. It's pretty good. So we'll say bye bye to Chiyu. And we'll see who he wants to take out. It could be Meteor Beam. It could be Moon Guys Beam. I would think it's Meteor Beam to get that special attack boost. Let's see right now. What you got? It's going to be... Ooh, Calm Mind. All right. So I think Calm Mind boost is... Um, I think we just got to spam and go for ducks, right? I think we just got to spam and go for ducks. I mean, my Roaring Moon really... Well, not Roaring Moon. My Gadget Fire really not doing much here. We just got to spam this go for ducks. Um... He crash isn't going to do anything. We still have Terra on the bird, which is good. But I think we save it for Palmot for, like, double shock. Yeah, that's really that's really where we're at. So we're going to go Hurricane here. And I guess we'll just hold those. Can we really do anything with this? Hal boost? I, 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 I guess. I guess if they're just going to leave this, this Gadget Fire on the field, we might as well boost our attack. Yeah, he's just going to protect here. All right, cool. So I'm going to boost up my Gadget Fire. Maybe try to waste out my own rain turns. That'd be pretty good. That could be pretty good, just to waste out my rain turns. So he protects there. I could Howl again, but I think I'm going to protect my boy this turn. And he might he might set up a Calm Mine. He might set up another Calm Mine. I have three turns left in rain. You know what? I think he sets up another Calm Mine. We're going to go for Hurricane. And we're going to go for a Howl boost here again. Instead of go for Burning Bulwark. Let's see. Let's see. So we're boosting our attack. We're, we're going to try something. We're going to try to waste out these rain turns with my boy. But hell up again. I think he goes for another Combine here. I think he wants at least two Combines. Pelper's able to go for Hurricane. Hopefully he ducks up. That'd be awesome. Can we get some ducks going? Yes! 
Yes! This is why I brought my boy Paloops. Hit yourself with confusion. Buy me a turn. No, and you attack by gouging fire. <laughs> Alright, so we got ducks on, which is good news. The ducks are thriving here. Ducks are thriving. Um Gotta bring out Paul Mott. Got to bring out Paul Mott. We gotta terrestrialize and go for a double shock and see how much damage that could possibly do, right? Paul Mott, it's your turn. Terra double shock. Oh man, this Lunala is just bulking up. And the thing is, we lose electric type after this. Does this move lose electric type after that? That's that's my that's my question. Let's see. The user discharges all electricity from his body from a high damage attack. After using this move, the user will no longer be electric type. All right, but the move's still electric type. That's all I need to know. I won't be electric type, but the move will still be. Because if it, if it went to like a normal type, that could really be bad. But taking off electric type could be good because then I can't get hit by Moon Guy's beam. Hold up. This could be really good for me. Actually, technically, am I still an electric type if I terrestrialize electric type? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of in a weird spot. I think I would still be electric type. <laughs> I'm terrible electric. That'd be crazy if it just turned to like a normal gem. This thing's still confused. You're going for protect. Hit yourself in confusion here. Come on, man. That ain't right. So you know what I'm going for. You know what I'm going for. Double shock. It's going to get blocked. He's gonna leftovers up. All right, cool. He's wasting out ducks really well too. Maybe we can get some more ducks. But soon I was looking pretty, pretty good. Maybe my maybe my boy Paul Mott can get a crit here and just, you know, settle everything. That'd be awesome. Yeah, from here we're gonna go for another hurricane. We're gonna go for a double shock. Let's see what we can do. Unala. Oh man. I should have just burning bulwark the last turn with my uh gouging fire. Got a little ahead of myself going for the house. He's gonna terrestrialize. I swear, if this is like ground or something, I'm gonna be so upset. What do you got here? Alright, fairy. That's fair. That's fair, I guess. Double shock's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing here? Paul Mott. Get after it, Paul Mott. All right, Paul Mott. I used up all my electricity. Didn't really do much at all. I mean, can we get like a confusion turn? Oh, come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Can't get one. We just cannot get one. We cannot get one. He's gonna end up going after my Paul Mott, and he dumps on it. We can't get one turn of this thing losing to confusion. That's three in a row. That's three in a row. Come on, man. I feel like if we had one there, we actually would have had a decent shot at winning this match. But uh, this Lunal was so bulked up. We're going to end up losing this regardless. We are going to end up losing this regardless. So yeah, I'm just going to run it. We're not able to do enough damage. I mean, I can rely on RNG. But I, but I have to land Hurricanes now, and I have no weather. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm running this one. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting here one and one Moving on to our final match. We're going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, the good news is they have no speak troll user. They can't just tail, Tailwind and have Shadow Rider Calyrex go off, which actually would have been a huge problem for us. But they don't have it. They got two fake out users with Incineroar and Rollaboom. They got Raging Bolt. They got Urshifu. They got Amoongus. Um, who am I leading here and how am I playing this one? Walmart's not bad with the choice of Scarf. Can actually do some nice damage. Um, hmm, do I end up leading him? Thing is, I'm kind of scared of fake out. To be honest here. Kind of scared of fake out. I could just lead Fluttermane. Fluttermane's good. Kind of bypasses, intimidates pretty fast. Has Focus Ash. Um, yeah, I like Fluttermane here for a lead. I'm gonna go Fluttermane, and I might even go Pelper and try to set up a Tailwind if we can. Yeah, I like it. We'll go Pelper. We will go in with uh, Fluttermane, try to set up that Tailwind. We gotta bring Solgaleo, and last but not least, do we go Paul Mott? Or do we go like Rollaboom? We kinda need something to get rid of this Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is terrifying. It honestly is. And I got Ice Punch. Yeah, I like Paul Mott. Ice Punch can do damage onto Amoongus, Roll Boom, Raging Bolt. Can't really go wrong with it. Plus, if we need it for like Urshifu or Calyrex, we have it. We have it. So let's see what they end up, end up wanting to do. I think they get, they have to lead a fake out user. It's got to be either Roll Boom or Incineroar. They lead Shadow Rider Calyrex. Then we're sitting here like, eh, what do we want to do from there? I think we would just double protect and maybe like Y Guard or Tailwind the next turn. Let's just let's just see. Let's see. 
Let me Calyrex and Mugus. Okay. I could Y-Guard this first turn. I could set up a Tailwind this turn. Um, could just protect Flutter I me, mean, play it smart, and then set up a Tailwind. Let me. Mm, your stats are iffy, though. That's my problem with Pelipper. Your special defense is iffy. 90. That's my real issue here. How fast are you, Flutter I mean, You're not outspeeding this thing, are you? I could just do this. You know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we go for Icy Wind and just Y-Guard this turn? Slow him down that way. Slow him down that way. So we'll pop a Y-Guard turn one. And they're going to end up Terrasalize and give me Calyrex here. He's going to go into a straight normal type. So he thinks I'm going for like Shadow Ball or something into it, but I'm really not. I need to get Speed Control more so than anything. If we go for the Y-Guard, he's probably Spore me, which is kind of ugly, right? He's gonna go for Psyche, so we read the Y guard. How dare you? How dare you? I'm able to soak that, which is good news. And Icy Wind's gonna be able to fly. So he's gonna be putting. He's gonna be putting me to sleep, which really sucks. Um. I should go for Pollen Puff, but I doubt it. Yeah, he put me to sleep. Like, just, just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. I'm kinda hoping Pelipper can outspeed, but I don't think he can. I'd love to set up a Tailwind here. And just go for, I guess, another Icy Wind. I do have Terra Grass, but that could really help us here. Man, I hate going up against Shadow Rider Calyx. This Pokemon is just so broken. It's so good. That's why I just can't wait for Regulation H. Let's see what they end up doing. They might even swap Amoongus, but they don't. They're just going to stay on the field here. Let's see if he ends up going for an Astro Bosch here. And he does. I was going to Y-Guard it, too. I was going to end up Y-Guarding it. And he's going to pick up a KO onto me. That thing's just boosting up. Um, We have pretty fast Pokemon. Paul Mott can actually... One shot this, uh. Alma can actually one shot this Calyrex. And Solgaleo can actually one shot this, uh. This, what's it called? This Amoongus. Give me a second. Let me cook. Let me cook. Because I still have Terror type. I still have Terror type. So we're going to Terrasalize our. We're going to Terrasalize our Solgaleo here. I'm gonna at least try to go for a blast here. He might protect, but I'm gonna I'm gonna at least try to go for a moon blast. Actually, I think I'd rather go for an icy wind just to slow down everybody again. I'm gonna terrasalize and drop a second fangs into this Amuga slot. Cause they don't know that my Paul Mod's choiced. And if I can bring him out here and just close combat drop that thing and maybe have another Pokemon on my side, we have a shot at winning this. I'm gonna use my Terra here. I don't want to die out to Astro Barrage. This thing is just boosting up on special attack. Or, yeah, boosting up on special attack. And I'm really hoping I can just dump on this, bring out Paul Mott next turn, have that choice Scarf, take out the Calyrex, and I'll just go from there. Watermain's still slumped. We know he's going for Astro Barrage. Second Fang should KO you, right? Yep, yeah, okay, cool. So get rid of you. I should soak this Astral Barrage. I'm going to be very upset if I don't. I get that you're plus one Calyrex, but that's all you got. That's all you got. You got to soak this here. Soak this Soul Leo. Jeez, man. Calyrex is just so good. It's just so good. I cannot wait for Regulation H. I know you guys are on board with me. I know you guys are on board with me with Regulation H. I'm tired of seeing like Pokemon like this. It's like, if you're not using them, you're just losing to them at this point. They're just so good. They really are. And I'm more of a fun type of player. Like, I like to use different Pokemon. So it's like, regulation is going to be a lot of fun for me. Alright. Is there any shot that we win this? I mean, you're going to fake me out. Come on, man. I really just wanted to dump on the Calyrex, but... Hopefully, he ends up not using fake out, because I can probably one-tap both of you guys. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to fake me out. So, bye-bye, Paul Mott. Really hurts to see you go, but... It's how the cookie crumbles... You end up going for a substitute anyway. Wow, that's just like a stab in the face. You know, I punched this Incineroar right in the chin. This Incineroar's getting it. I'm punching this Incineroar right in the face. Just gonna beat him up real quick. <laughs> get my get my licks in before I go out. Go ahead, Palma. I know you're intimidated minus one, but I mean a stab super effective close combat. Should do a lot of damage. Get your get get your licks in before you go out. You don't even pick up a KO. Come on, Palma. You're better than that. My defense is dropped now, and he's just gonna 
He's gonna rip up into me. Psychic gonna fly. Bye bye, Paul Mott. Thanks for playing. So, GG's to our opponents today. We end up going 1 and 2 for today's video. Had close second match. This match wasn't really as close as the last one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Tried using Solgaleo and Paul Mott in today's video. And let's be honest, it didn't really turn out too well. We had Rollboom, we had Gouging Fire, Fluttermane, and Pelipper. Didn't really use them as much as I wanted to, but I, I wanted to use Paul Mott and Solgaleo a little bit more. Like I like obviously you guys seen. Solgaleo is still pretty good with Gouging Fire. Once you get that weakness policy set up, it's hits like an absolute truck. But Paul Mott, on the other hand, eh, meh. Not hitting as hard as I need it to be. We could definitely use a different Pokemon to do what it can do and even more but still a lot of fun using this pokemon and i always have a good time using off meta but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody